broadcasting from the uh, Westminster United Methodist Church Chancel area. And uh, just checking in with everybody and uh, seeing how you all are doing. The, uh, the, the life of the church has entered into an unusual stage indeed. Uh, however, we, we know that the church is not a place that we go to, but the church is who we are and where we are. Uh, one of the things that I was thinking about earlier today was a friend of mine had traveled to uh, England and had heard that there was going to be an evening song held at one of the local churches. They uh, went out to the church, and when they arrived, it was a beautifully decorated sanctuary. The organ music was great. The choristers sang beautifully, but the congregation wasn't there. And um, at the end of the service, the friend walked up to the minister in uh, at the place and uh, asked, it's, it's such a shame, isn't it? And, and the pastor said, what? And, and uh, my friend said, well, the fact that there was nobody there to listen to the beautiful music. And that's when the minister shared that uh, what he, he has discovered in his ministry in that community is that uh, every day uh, in the afternoon, evening song is played. The bells are tolled from the church bell, and people know that we are praying for them. And... Uh, my friend was just so impressed with this, and, and now we're kind of experiencing a little bit of that on our own. And it just turned noon here at uh, Center in Maine, and the chimes of the bell rang out, and then music started playing from our carillon. And it kind of made me think about our friend in England who was uh, experiencing nobody in the congregation, but it was tolling uh, to tell everybody that... Uh, that we're praying for them. It also made me remember that uh, we're all called to be priests for Jesus Christ. There is a scripture that comes from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. It says, But you are a chosen race, a royal peace, priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. You know, the church really is not a place that we go to. The church is really who you are and where you are. And so as people who are part of the royal priesthood, I encourage you to continue to reach out and to care for those people. And um, if you happen to hear the church bells tolling somewhere near you, that you'll be reminded that someone is praying for you, just as I am praying for you during this time. And so, my friends, until we see each other again, perhaps on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. on Facebook Live or even through our own Zoom connection, that information will be going out a little bit later this afternoon. Um, may God continue to bless you and watch over you, and may you continue to be a blessing to all those around you. Shall we pray? Holy God, we give you thanks for this day, and even despite all the changes in our lives, the way that you are ever present with us. Continue to bless us in your mercy. Help us to be your royal priesthood, going out to serve and to share. We pray all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So my friends, hope to see you on Sunday. God bless now.